Hello and welcome to this video on Trampling Urban Transit. Today we're going to be um, on this game and today we're going to be starting this series on it and we're going to be on the um, only map available which is Angel Shores. This game is about um, creating a tram network in Angel Shores which was a map, which was a map featuring um, Bus Mode 21 which is a game very similar to very similar to Bus Mode 21 um, tram extension. So yeah, we're going to get started now. So um, you can have a little read of that. Alright, and now then, we're going to be on simulation, because it says I'm nice and realistic. I'm gonna... um, and just to say, I have got a new PC now, so that means hopefully the game should run slightly better, the games play on the channel, and also um, the game, they should now record it. Um, Yes, it's out. So, and also, um, it should be recording in 4K as well. So yeah, it's a pathway tram company. Story mode because you're different modes. You have story, career, sandbox. Oh, we can be in story. I will accept that company setup. Yes, please. Um. Oh yeah, and on in the game's description, they do say you get six trams. This game, however, you do actually only get three. It's just they have different lengths. Um. But I'll show you that once we get to once we get to around to buying a tram, I'll show you what they mean by that. Um. So yeah, this game. I've um. It's my first time playing this game. So yeah, just seeing what's. I'll give you my honest opinion if I if I like it or not. I will give you my honest opinion. Load up there. Um, so yeah, sorry, I've, I've, I've had a bit of a break from the channel for quite Budgets a while. Trapped, but I'll let him speak now. I need more funding to connect the entire city with tram. Oh, hi there. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Tony Stevenson, head of the Angel Shores Tram Project. I apologize for not being able to meet you face to face. I'm out of town right now. Everyone I've asked speaks highly of you. So let's see if you can help us make Angel Shores even better. Our goal is ambitious. We're looking to switch all public transport to trams. A massive undertaking. That's where capable supporters like you come in. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start small. I've got an idea to kick things off. In San Anthony, all the major city infrastructure is concentrated in one spot. To make life smoother for our residents, we need to connect these crucial buildings with tram lines. Step one, plan the exact route, which takes some preparation. Right, so create the route. I think we know how to do this, but they are going to give us a tutorial. And why is on the peak time? Normal, I think. I've already purchased a tram to kickstart our project. One will do for now, but we'll need more soon. And I've got it all set for our maiden voyage. So enjoy the rock. Right. Okay, so it's ah, that scent of leather, metal, oil. Bad. Brings back memories of my dad tram. taking me on a new tram for the first time. Unforgettable nostalgic moments. Perhaps you've heard of him? Mr. Stevenson Sr. Oh well. Let's get started. Drive to the first stop and see if our passengers are ready. Um, so yeah, I'll, as I was saying earlier, I have to take a break from the channel for quite um for, for quite a while, but um I'm back now and I'm gonna be um so now um, yeah, so. so yeah, this is our tram, I'm just gonna 
think I'm going to have to go through some settings quickly, however. So, so, we don't, so I can take a good screenshot because I don't want to have a mini map in the corner. So, user interface, mini map visibility, third person. Oh, first person. No, wrong one. What is that? User interface. Only in first person. Oh, no, wrong one. Only in first person. There. Just press. Let everyone on board the tram then. I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to turn the cab lights off. Wrong button, I meant to turn the cab lights off. The new tram seems to be a real hit. For now, just focus on taking good care of the passengers and the tram. And savor the moment. We can tackle other matters down the line. Alright, so on here, you can either, I think you might be able to use the steering wheel on this to drive the tram. I don't know why. You would use steering wheel to drive the tram, but or you can also use W and S to accelerate and um, stop the tram. Then you can use um, A and D to um, change direction of, of the tram, basically. So as you can tell, it doesn't, doesn't drive that realistically, but I'm so far the game's not too bad. But So it is my first time, so I'm going to do a bit of getting used to driving the train. If a tram driver would necessarily do this in real life, I don't think they would necessarily, but...
garlic or onions? I think I like onions better. But you can make a nice dip out of garlic. Next will be the last stop. Um, oh yeah, and on, um, with the schedule, normally translated to Urban Transit will be on a Friday, but as if no, I guess normally it will be on a Friday, I believe. I'm, um, but it'll be on, but obviously it's on Monday this week, so that's because um, I'm. Yeah, I know, I went over, I probably went over a little bit tonight. That first ride was a success, just like Sam promised. I think we're gonna make a formidable team. The transit terminal is set to benefit big time from this new route. It looks like it's on track to become the hub that Angel Shores truly deserves. It's crucial to level up the stops so we can easily link up with other routes. Over time, this will help the whole district grow and prosper. You know the drill. Better stops mean a better district. You know, when I first took on Mira and Trisha's project to connect all of Angel Shores with trams, I'll admit I had my doubts. But investing in decarbonizing transportation is like hitting the high note in a rock ballard. It'll put Angel Shores in pole position on a global scale. Also, good news on the tram front. The city has given the green light to expand the tramway across the bay. Now, the highway rails may take a bit longer to build, but the rest of the network is primed and ready. We've even got our tram hub up and running in Sunkiss and are working on more tram stops, as long as our budget allows. Let's head over to the hub and snag an up. I was looking to go to over. Uh, Sunkiss tram hub, yep. Yeah. Activate the terminal, and let's get that beauty on board. Our budget got a boost, courtesy of Ted Kane from the local government. So expanding our fleet so, is a piece of cake. The trams you've got available, you've got this one here. Um, but as you can see, they're obviously basically the same with that one, just um, having two of them, and as opposed to um, that one's been a single set and that one's been a double set. Then that one there... Um, it's almost the same as that one, that was basically just a double set of it, so, yeah, and that one, that one almost, about, about basically the same, so, that one's been a bit bigger, so that's why you do only get three models in different lengths. Speaking of Ted, he's been working on some advertising magic for us. We can earn some extra revenue by displaying ads on our trams. Let's seize this opportunity and choose a partner to showcase their ads on all of our trams. And hey, while we're at it, how about we give our trams a fresh coat of paint? The gray is a bit dull, don't you think? Garage there. Um, so which one is this then? That's number one. I was thinking maybe a uh, light blue and light green. I think that, that looks quite nice. Obviously, you're going to need a green city advertisement as well, aren't we? And the interior, so you, oh, you've got all these Halloween ones. We on Halloween, do we know? Oh god, you got loads of. Uh, which interior looks the best? Oh god, you got, you got, oh, you got Christmas interior as well. 
to have the one that looks the best, to be honest with you. I actually do think the style one is the best. It's just standard one, and I would prefer to use another one, but it's just all of them, all the other ones look so awful. It's, um, yeah. This will definitely amp up our visual appeal, really make our trams stand out. Now, I've got a brilliant idea for where to kick off our new advertising campaign. I believe the beautiful neighborhoods of Sunkiss and Valley Spring have untapped potential. They're filled with fantastic pubs and restaurants, perfect for night owls. By creating a line there, we'll boost the economy and elevate the entire area. Trust me on this. Okay, so we need to um, connect. Right, so they're going to tell us what to do now, aren't they? Onto the peak to on demand. So it was raining inside, um, basically inside a building. It was raining. That's a bug, then, wasn't it? But why not? Well, and now, so drive tram to, uh, yeah. Let's do it with this one here. This was obviously closer. Years ago, I went up Dogs the mountain. There. The view was amazing. This room is great. I'm not allowed to go off until doors close, aren't we? That's pretty good. You said to drive off the doors open on the um, bus route 21. It's a tram.
not a very realistic hill, I was like, if you, if you actually find a hill like that. No! Wrong way. It's gonna happen at some point, isn't it? Right, and so he just went the wrong way. Not good. Tram in time. This game. Next stop, South Wilson Street. I would recommend this game. Buy it when it's on sale. I wouldn't recommend paying it full price for that. Why? Right. I think we're going to drive that route a second time. So maybe I'll go drive it a second time. Look at um. a bad rating this time as well to be honest with you because I do keep crashing don't we That was a good stopping position apparently, I wouldn't say it was good. My I can't close the door to the new of the planetarium. It's so informative. Um, does it go to... Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, thank you.
careful. You know, my hair, don't you? and then running onto my dry towel and rolling all over it. Definitely a bug. See ya. Yes, Goodbye. I'd recommend this game if it's like. If, if it's I like had a chat with Ted about our progress. Pounds less, I would recommend. He's blown away by how quickly we've won over the community to hop on our trans. I don't think it's worth six. He sees tremendous points. potential in this project and has pledged additional funding. Plus, he shared the contact info for a unique tram manufacturer specializing in vintage models. Right now, I'm at their production facility, checking out what they offer. I'll keep you posted on how we can integrate these beauties into our network. Rock on! Brace yourself for this one. I've just pitched my grand idea for boosting tourism through our transport network to the new commissioner for tourism development of Angel Shores, Carol Sanderson. She's absolutely thrilled. Imagine a tram line that connects all the major attractions of Angel Shores and the transit terminal. Now, here's the thing. I'm having a bit of trouble mapping out a balanced route that truly caters to the city's needs. But I know you're up for the challenge. Alright, so the missions are, um... Edit travel 2 to make it balanced. It goes, uh, okay, travel to terminal 2. Where to see you beach. So... Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, um... Okay, so those missions will be for next time, so the next video is probably on Friday. The next uh, transit update to Urban Transit video, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, please. Blood of you if you enjoyed it, also subscribe to so the channel in future. Transit related Urban Transit content, okay? Goodbye.